Joe here from the Working Fans Podcast. And at the Working Fans Podcast, this is just a podcast that three lifelong fans created to have a place to talk comedy and pro wrestling. Now, our comedy podcast releases every Tuesday, while our wrestling podcast releases every Thursday. We release bonus episodes under the moniker Working Fans Presents every now and then. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, any major podcast provider. The important thing is just please like, rate, review, subscribe wherever you listen to us. Now, we have started a new thing. We are now on Amazon and Audible. So those episodes release every Monday. And that's kind of going through the archives and just releasing our old episodes in a new area. So if you want to live through the process with us again, take that journey with us again, you can find us over on Amazon and Audible. Now, if you can't get enough of us in the audio form, check out our YouTube. It's youtube.com slash C slash Working Fans Wrestling Pod, or just search Working Fans Podcast on YouTube. We have the, the whole archive is up there. And if you listen to the Working Fans Podcast, you are more than familiar with the 531. That is our signature segment where we take your top five list on a particular subject, vote it down to a top three, and then debate it down to a top one. Now, guys, if you want to hear three guys talk shit about comedy, wrestling, life, anything, you will enjoy the Working Fans Podcast. I'll tell you what the final question will be. So we know when we're ending it. Coming up. Yeah. No. Fuck it. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's what we're with. <laughs> I, I have all the shows. It's like. <laughs> no, it's funny. Pay you enough. <laughs> all right. So it's five fifty nine. I know. Dave, what you you want to give him an intro? Yeah. Sure. Ready to go. Yeah. All right. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. get that voice going. Mars. Hey, before that, just make sure you tell him what you were Test doing. Test one, one, two, one, like, two. Does he know where to put the mic? Oh, like by the day. <laughs> oh, how does it sound like? So it sounds good. No, because we were talking before, and he goes, I'm going to tell everybody. Oh, up on the mic. Like it's a dick. Like, yeah, but I didn't know. <laughs> so now, I was like, I forgot it. I was talking some shit before I left. You reminded me of this. Right. And then I'm like, they're professional comedians. They might like, know where to sit. Seen. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, you know where to put the mic? <laughs> All right, that's not why we waited, but no. Marcelino, Marcelino, Marcelino. Okay, yeah. All right. I got this. I told him if he calls you Marcelino, we got heat. Don't worry about it. This is gonna call me late for dinner. But I'll <laughs> jap slap the shit out of Jap slap. I love it. <laughs> Rick Flair. Woo! <laughs> that's the first time I heard that. Um. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, it's the Working Fans Podcast with the man they call Dave, and today we are uh, at the Elks Lodge, 957, uh, special guest, Marcelino Moose, Moose, Hill. Moose Hill. My man is the comedian, and he's promoting the event, Yes. yes. and uh, I guess I'm going to start off with what got you into comedy. Oh, gosh. Uh, to be honest, when I was younger, I had a speech impediment, mm. and my grandmother used to laugh at me all the time. She said, boy, you need to laugh at yourself because other people are laughing at you already. That's great advice. So I just caught that kind of humor and kept going. That's I can relate to that. That's great. I had, I used to go to speech classes. Oh, it wasn't really that, but I learned to laugh at myself. All my friends would just make fun of me, red hair, allergies. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I just walk in. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm an asshole. Oh, and then, yeah, right. Right yeah. here, black guy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> On yeah, exactly. You might have had a little rougher than I did. But. Oh, God, man. Growing up, you know, you know, I'm 58. So yeah. Growing up back in the day, and the neighborhood we did suburbia, mm -hmm. oh, I heard that shit all the time. So no shit. Yeah. I was 44. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. God bless you. Bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I got Drinking a lot of water. 
<laughs> All right. So you're also a promoter. Uh, do you have a preference? Promoting comedy or? Uh, nope. As long as I've seen them before or just send me your, you know, a, a quick dab of your set and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't care who they are. Just as long as I know that they're funny. I think they're funny because I think in, in this business of comedy and anything else, the people are you get a little click. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in clicks. I just think if you bring the funny, you're a decent person and you bring the funny, I'm going to put you on the show sooner or later. Right. You know, if I have the spot. And if we could talk about something, then I don't care who you're from, where you're from, right. whatever. Just bring the funny. Because my thing is laugh with us, laugh at us, just laugh. Sure. Easy. Be able to fit in and be good. Do your thing. Yeah. Right, right, thing. right. And if you have a bad set, like we never had a bad set. Mm -hmm. Brush yourself off, get over it, and come back strong the next time. Absolutely. Now, actually, it's funny since you said that. You don't believe in clicks. Would that be part of your background, right? Growing up a little tough, maybe you're like, you know what? I don't I was, judge. I was a chameleon. I, I went everywhere and then yeah, exactly. You know, I'll hang with the white boys. I'll be like, yo, what's a dude? Have the brother, yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> my producer asked me before we came here. We were hanging out with uh some other friends he had never met. He's like, who are these? I'm like, oh, these are my successful friends. But don't worry about it. <laughs>